Hello and welcome once again to Real Quality Wrestling. And this week we continue the chase to crown the new RQW Heavyweight Champion. Last week, if you recall, Pac, the Drew Galloway and Martin Stone all qualified for the semi-finals. Now we're going to show you the last of the first round matches. Now Steve Gray was to be the premier promotions representative, but unfortunately an injured hamstring prevented his participation. He did, however, join us at ringside to take part in the match against the new premier promotions representative, Aviv Mayan, and representing the FWA, the Phoenix, Jody Flash. Let's join Dan Reed and Dean Ayers at ringside. Before this next match, we have a very special guest for you. Ladies and gentlemen, he is here. Steve Gray! And a bona fide legend of the UK wrestling business. Absolutely. Former world, European and British lightweight champion Steve Gray. The longest champion. Still an active wrestler, but he uh, had a hamstring injury today, so he couldn't make it to the tournament. He was uh, set to face Jody Fleisch. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is another first round match in the RQW Heavyweight Title Tournament. Set for one fall, a submission or a knockout. Introducing first, Representing Premier Promotions, weighing in at 175 pounds, from Winchester. Well, that's that's a big my hand with with Andy Simmons, the current IPW UK champion. I didn't know Simmons was going to be here. And Simmons showing no respect no, to uh, Steve Gray. Steve Gray sets the standard of British wrestling. And if it wasn't for people like Steve Gray, Andy Simmons wouldn't have wouldn't have a job. It was people like Steve Gray. That helped make this industry and helped make this business what it is today. And his opponents representing the FWA. It's the Phoenix Jody Fleisch representing FWA against the Eve Ryan representing Premier Promotions. He's representing FWA in the venue that he won the FWA title in, the York Hall Bethnal Green. Absolutely. In fact, Dean, look over there at that balcony. Four years ago, four years ago, we saw Jody Fleisch moonsaulting off the top of that balcony, reinventing the industry. Jody Fleisch, one of the High-flying pioneers of British wrestling. He's now believing not in his 10th year as a pro. Absolutely. And he, in the way that we said Steve Gray really set the benchmark for technical British wrestling scientific approach we all know about. This guy down there, Jody Fleisch, he set the benchmark for the high flyers. And if it wasn't for Jody Fleisch, there might not be a Pack or an Ashley Reed. Or, or even like an that. Aviv Mayan, who originally made his name as being a high flyer. Indeed, yes, from Winchester, a graduate, ironically enough, of the uh, of the FWA Academy. Absolutely. Aviv Mayan taking the place of Steve Gray, who unfortunately was originally uh, scheduled to uh, face Jody Fleisch, but unfortunately injured. So Premier Promotions send yeah. along Aviv Mayan as their representative. Ironically enough, an associate of the IPW UK champion, but it just shows how these uh, promotions all come together. When, and, when uh, it comes to gold. 
But yep, and Aviv Mayan representing Premier Promotions based out of uh, the South Coast, Sussex area, my part of the world. They uh, represent the, the old values, the old-fashioned values of British wrestling. Most of their matches are operated over rounds, two out of three falls. The old world of sports style that you see on the wrestling channel. Aviv Mayan must have thought Christmas come early when he heard Steve Gray was injured and he yeah. got an invite into this. Well, you know, Sometimes you just have to take your opportunities, and I wouldn't put it past Aviv Mayan to go all the way in this tournament Absolutely. now. Absolutely, Simmons, because the IPW UK heavyweight champion, his tag team partner there, Aviv Mayan, will be wanting to add the RQW heavyweight title to that, and look at the great shape he's in, he could go three rounds. Definitely. I mean, the, the thing also to bear in mind, Jody Fleischer had prepared for Steve Gray, and Steve Gray would be a complete, complete contrast to Jody Fleisch's style. Oh, absolutely. Aviv Mayan can wrestle the style that, that Jody Fleisch is used to, and he's a very much different wrestler to Steve Gray. Uh, so the advantage lies with Aviv Mayan, much like when, when Denmark won the 1992 European Championships. Absolutely, but of course, Aviv Mayan hasn't had much notice to be in this. He's now got to prepare to perhaps go three different matches against three different people. Well, sometimes being thrown in at the deep end works to your advantage. Jody flies with a smile on his face. Obviously, he's more confident, I think, than what Aviv Mayan is. Jody Fleisch has a lot more experience. So listen to the fans getting suddenly behind the Phoenix. Oh, beautiful. Top wrist lock now there from the Phoenix. Rolls through, does Aviv Mayan. Into a nice hammerlock. Got lots of bleach in the ring. Tight arm drag there, brings him down, rolls through. Jody holds onto that arm. Now you've got to question the presence of Andy Simmons in wrestling gear, no less, at ringside. What's that about? Has he got a license? I seriously doubt it. It's something you know quite a lot about. Go up and ask him. Now Andy Simmons is a good friend of mine. And and if you know, if I'm sure that he would have a license here. If, you know, if Andy Simmons tells me he's got a license, he's, that's good enough for me. I trust the man. Leaves my hand in the bottom rope there. Rolls to the outside. Regain his, regain his composure. Send Jody Flash off the pace. And here comes Simmons just to uh, offer a word of advice. Jody Flash, an underrated technical wrestler himself, shown the ropes by Dino Scarlo. Yep. Trained at the same time as uh, another young lad by the name of Johnny Storm. And also uh, Doug Williams as well. Yeah. They'll tie up and Aviv is quick to take the head. And wrenching it now. Maxim uses momentum of the ropes to send him off. Aviv knocks the Phoenix down. Jody tries to trip him up, ducks the charge, through the legs goes Aviv. Jody tries the same and off the ropes comes Aviv. It's got, it, the pace has quickened oh, here. Oh, yeah. I was about to say they're, they're still at the, uh, the feeding out process. There's both men, well, neither man's really getting an advantage yet, but the pace of this one's certainly picked up. I think they're both just testing the other one out just to see how fast their engines would go. Absolutely. Both men trying to predict what the other one will do. They're waiting for the other to make a mistake. You know, it's both of them stopped. Both of them waiting for the other to make a move. Aviv Mayan calling himself a sportsman. How's about that? Representing Premier Promotion, so uh, uh, absolutely. Indeed. Greco Roman thumb to the eye. Greco Roman thumb to the eye, eh? It's one that's, oh, underneath. That, that's Look one at the... gold medals. Whoa! Jody Fleisch! Oh, oh, oh. Saw Simmons! Oh! And a kick sends out Aviv Mayan as well. The thing is, you can add the years of experience between Andy Simmons and Aviv Mayan up, and it still doesn't equal to what the Phoenix has. Oh! Lands on his feet. Nice. Distracted there by Simmons. Oh, oh! Oh, come on! 
great thinking, great well, teamwork. Qualification. Great teamwork by the... It's not a tag match. The hated heroes from IPW. But it's not a tag team match. Why is a referee, Sammy Ray, disqualified? Why isn't there a disqualification? It was right in front of the ref's face, and now Simmons is doing a number on the Phoenix. And, and the feed by Anna's distracting referee, Sammy Ray. Someone tell me why this match hasn't ended. Someone tell me why the FWA's representative isn't now in the semi-finals. Because, because someone from Premier Promotions wouldn't, wouldn't stoop to cheating, Dan Reed. That's why. No, well, Andy Simmons isn't represented. Well, there you go. That's why. Because Premier Promotions are still in here because the representative of Premier Promotions did nothing wrong. You've just answered your he own question. He distracted the referee, though. It's not illegal to distract a referee. Why was he distracting the referee? Well, I Unless, You only distract someone if you have something to hide. Not necessarily if you're pointing out some hot woman in Road Z or something, you know. Over there, look. Uh, she's fat. What the hell's wrong with you? The fans I, suddenly getting behind the Phoenix Jody Fleisch. This very hall is where the Phoenix Jody Fleisch really made a name for himself, or really cemented his name when, as you pointed out earlier, he defeated Flash Barker. Cocky pin there from uh, the V player, never going to be. Who was Flash Barker managed by that night? Uh, well, to say uh, I managed him, I was, I was banned from ringside for the match. It was a, it was a conspiracy. Titanic and what that, yeah? JFK, Diana. Yeah. yeah. It was proven it was not a conspiracy, I believe. The I would like to say it was proven I was not pregnant at the time. And now, once again, I'll ignore that. And now, Simmons, once again, now getting on the case of the Phoenix, it's two on one. And there's but, no other representative from the FWA here to come out and even the odds. But what the ref doesn't see, the ref can't call. And I'd like to point out again that no other person from Premier Promotions interfered in the match. It's perfectly legal. It's not legal. It's beautiful. It's the coming together. Sunset flip. The Phoenix fights through all the double teams. Beautiful waist lock. Rolls through. One, two. It's beautiful. It's the coming together of British wrestling. Oh, oh. Ho, ho. a representative of Premier Promotions and a representative of IPW UK coming together to beat the snot out of someone for FWA. You know, let's sweep politics aside and just have everyone beating the snot out of everyone else down there. Oh, for that. If you want to represent a promotion and jump in there, go ahead. Well, there's sure no... So we'd have a mass battle royal. You could act like a piñata or something like that. Yeah, well, I've worked for so many places that it would be unfair to pick one out. That was a nice leg drop there from Avif Mayan. Do you know what? No one's ever questioned you know, the ability of Avif Mayan. It's more along the lines of the ways and the means that he goes to win a match. Well, you know, at the end of the day, Dan, what counts are the results? It just says I've in the record book. I've never seen the Phoenix Jody Fleisch cheat, OK? And yet, let's look at his history. The first ever King of England, where he was awarded the King of England medal by the Dynamite Kid, yep. the legendary Dynamite Kid, OK? The former FWA British heavyweight champion. Okay? Yep. What this guy hasn't done in British wrestling, I don't think it's actually worth doing. Former 1PW World Tag Team Champion. Absolutely. Singles champion, tag team champion, tournament winner. But you know something, as I was trying to say before you so rudely interrupted me, the record books show who won the match. It doesn't say, you know, Aviv Mayan won this match, oh, but someone helped him. No, it just says the result. That's what counts at the end of the day. Jody Flash on the... Oh! oh! Sit out, reverse suplex, face buster, combination move. There's also a lot of experience advantage going towards Jody Flash. He's used to these big time opportunities where there's a lot of pressure on you as opposed to Aviv. Nice Enzigari. He has wrestled such stars as the great Sasuke. He has wrestled such stars as Jushin Liger. He has defeated guys like Christopher Daniels. Yep. AJ Styles. AJ Styles. Oh, belly bad to belly landing. suplex right over the top the rope. Throat hit. first to the steel guardrail. Sorry, Dan. Yeah, he went head first. The side of his head hit that rail. And that looked a bad landing. 
and watch Simmons on the outside. Simmons just walked past, did nothing wrong at all. It's people like you stirring things up. Yeah, and I guess you've probably never done anything yeah. on the outside in your career either. Yeah, yeah, you, How's that cane of yours, by the way? How's your leg? You it, limping now? Did my, you lend it to Simmons? He my, could do with it, probably. Cane, my well, cane's OK my now. My cane is, that, is Did it ever home. hit anyone? Did it ever hit anyone's back? And now Let's these, concentrate yeah. on the match rather than talking about me. You know, I'm not some egomaniac, Dan Reed. Big forearm. With a number forearm. But for the record, my cane is at home. Why did you need a cane? I never saw you limping. I've got bad news. Years of playing And choking on the outside now. Where the heck is the referee? Worst referee ever. Of the wall unit, but off the belt, off the, the off the, the um, runway. The ramp unit. Is yes. That what you're call the it? ramp unit. But and Simmons, Simmons from behind. Oh, for crying out loud, ref! You suck. Sammy Ray was checking on Aviv Mayan. Jody's got it. And oh, Aviv Mayan's back. Aviv Mayan is okay. I'd just like to make that clear. Aviv Mayan Dan is okay. What? I can't believe this referee. 100% sucks. Jody Fly's trying to get back in the ring now. Aviv Mayan dragging him to the outside. Right nearby, here, out here by us. Oh dear. Whoa, I've got Jody Fly on my Phoenix lap. Phoenix in a lap. Christmas has come early for Dean Is. And now thrown back in a ring. Keep it in the ring. Ah, oh, let him come out here. Yeah, yes, yeah, right. Shut He's up. Supposed to be representing Premier Promotion. That learned you, Reed. Oh yeah, I'm dead impressed. And once again to the outside. And for the second match in a row, we're on the rampway. Our camera, our, our fancy swing camera. I love that camera. It's bringing you straight into the action. Absolutely. There. Only in RQW you see beautiful quality camera work like this. And now Aviv Mayan is going to drop him, but no. Jody Fleisch has a better view than we do, but I'm not sure he's liking the way down. Over the top goes Jody Fleisch and standing drop kick on that ramp. And there's no give on that ramp. No. Not like the ring that's got a spring on it. it. That has got no give whatsoever. And now they're brawling on the our way here. I did not to see a rep, expect to see oh. a representative from Premier Promotions end up brawling in no. the ramp. And where's Jody gone? I was going to say, what's he doing? Where he's going to bring back a chair. Oh, I remember seeing this. Shades of Frontiers of Honor. Shades Jody of... Fleisch and Christopher Daniels. I'm having the most awesome deja vu ever. Yo! Oh! F and W A Dean Ayas. Well, a great move from Jody Fleisch using furniture to his advantage. And as you say, deja vu. And the fans certainly behind. The FWA's representative, Jody Fleisch. Have you ever had Vujar Day? That's where something you don't think is going to happen doesn't. Back into the middle of the ring there. Well done. Thank you very much. Twisted point. And to the top Fleisch. rope goes the Phoenix. Fleisch was going to fly. And this is the first time he'd actually have been to the top rope in this match. Yeah, Fleisch was going to fly, but Aviv Mayan cuts him off and they're stuck in no man's land. Oh, hard landing there from Aviv now. Oh, 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 German suplex there, the Phoenix goes face first to the mat. Both men down. This action has even brought Steve Gray to his feet and he's injured. Indeed. Shot there. Echoes throughout the hallowed York Hall. And now they're trading. Oh, and Jody Fleisch is winning. Oh, block. Nicely done by my hand. Oh, oh, I thought that was it. What the hell's up with this referee? You're sacked. Oh, will you stop going on about this referee? What are you going to do? 
Go home and register your displeasure on the internet, I'm like all the other geeks. I'm going to write a letter. Well, there you go. Write to your MP for all I care. Whoa, beautiful! Oh! Enzagiri, kind Enzagiri, of. Enzagiri, yeah, to the back of the neck. Victory beautiful roll. victory roll! Oh! Two count only, but Jody Fleisch definitely in control of this match. And now Jody. Jody's feeling it from the fans now. The fans getting suddenly behind. And there's another chop in the corner. Armringer with an Irish whip puts Jody in control. Over the top goes Aviv. Kick to the midsection. Oh no, here comes that Vavavoom DDT. Oh! He hit it. The Vavavoom. The Vavavoom. Will it be one, two, three? No! No! Jody gets the right shoulder up. And Aviv can't believe it. Look at him. Aviv looking for moral support from Simmons. And, and Simmons. Yeah, Simmons just said, I thought you had him too. Well, Aviv Mayan has defeated numerous competitors with that Vavavu but DDT. He's, he's not defeated Jody Fleisch. No. Aviv Mayan holds victories over such stars as the, the show stealer Alex Shane here in the UK. Oh! oh! Gets caught with that beautiful standing Unzaguri. And if you notice, much like Pac earlier on, we didn't see Pac go to the top row. So far, this is actually the first attempt of the Phoenix Jody Flies to hit something from the top row by setting Aviv on the top. I mean, he did go for that Pescado, went... which he uh, landed on his feet for. And lands on his feet again, the oh. quickness and the agility of a cat. Top row, Hurricane oh. Rana! That's my springiest star in the business today! No. Almost gets a victory. And what a match we are seeing from these two. Premier Promotions versus FWA. If they and now Jody's going to Tomo, maybe setting up for that shooting star press. And Where's Simmons, Simmons going? Simmons, oh, come on, this is going to be a DQ. And that sends Simmons down. Jody, top rope, time for the Phoenix star press. Oh, that bad distraction. Landing. Gave Aviv Mayan enough time to move. No, no. And oh my goodness, Aviv Mayan has beaten Jody Fleisch for the first time. I do not. And look at the smile on his face. He wins the match. And, and it's, it's Aviv Mayan going through to the semi finals where he'll face Martin Stone. So we know our semis. Aviv Mayan and Martin Stone, the other semi, Drew Galloway against Pat. What a final four we've got for this, this tournament, Dan. Yeah, but this was disgusting. If John Fremantle, the promoter of Premier Promotions, was here, do you think it got to Aviv Miami and go, yeah, job well done, mate. Well, I'm very proud Steve of you. Steve Gray you. is not happy for probably the same reason. Oh, Steve and Gray go has Simmons. more say of Premier Promotions and more say of British wrestling than Aviv Miami does. Steve Gray getting in the face of Aviv Mayan. And Jody Fleisch and Steve Gray left standing in the ring and Fleisch does not look, well, he's, he's trying to put a brave face in there, but Fleisch not looking happy about what's happened here today. This was an absolute disgusting finish and a disgusting performance from Aviv Mayan and Andy Simmons. Steve Gray raises the hand of the Phoenix Jody Fleisch, who most certainly should have won, was robbed of this victory. And I thought Simmons was going to actually get in the ring there. What a mis what a that was a silly, silly thought of mine. It's Simmons and Aviv. Well, you can cry all you want, Dan Lee, but Aviv Mayan goes into the semi finals. Yeah, him and Butler Boy sure as hell make a nice couple. He's just two matches away from becoming the new Archie W champion. It's watching anyway.
just want to say one or two things about these two schmucks that you can see stood in front of you right now. Well, Jody doesn't talk a lot, so when you're starting to say, you better listen, boy. First of all, Aviv, my hand, if you can't do it clean, if you can't do it straight, do it bent, just like the way you do most things. Oh! <laughs> Only other thing is I've got a lot of thanks to give to this man right here. Absolutely. And we all do. Absolutely. Take your eyes off of these two skid marks. Place your eyes firmly on the legend standing to my left. And I'm not talking about you, Mad Eli, this time. I'm talking about Stevie Gray. We know the word legend gets bandied around so often, but that man is and a true actually, legend. Absolutely. You want to see him? He's actually given me quite a good idea. He suggested a little something known as a tag team match. Well, that'd be a a mix of generations. Yeah. Jody Fleisch and Steve Gray With teaming these up. Two schmucks at this very venue, your call, Bethnal Green. Next time we're here, what do you think? Well, I'm certainly up for it. Well, that'll be a certain. That'll be an interesting one. Certainly. Listen, I'm not retired, John, but two young men just come in here next time, and we'll just see who's retired. The pair of us, Jody and myself, could make a two team together, and I think you'll have a bit of a struggle to beat us. I agree. Definitely. So Aviv Mayan gets the victory and advances forward to the second of the semi-finals where he will face off against Martin Stone. But a match has now been set up for January the 12th at No Pain, No Gain 2007, where the Phoenix Jody Fleisch, along with the legend that is Steve Gray, will face off against Aviv Mayan and Andy Boy Simmons, the hated heroes. So now it's time for the semi-finals, and with the short straw drawn, Aviv Mayan is straight back into action, this time against Martin Stone. Let's join Dan and Dean at ringside. This next contest is set for one fall, a submission, or a knockout. It is also a second round match in the RQW Heavyweight Championship Tournament. Introducing first, representing Premier Promotions, weighing in at 175 pounds from Winchester, coming to the ring with Andy Boy Simmons, Abhi Mayan. Now how come, how come Abhi Mayan has to wrestle again straight away? Surely he should be in the second semi final he's in the last quarter final. Hey, it's just the luck of the draw, my friend. He's had 20 minutes. Luck of the draw, it's a conspiracy. Hey, let's be honest, Andy Simmons wrestled just as much in the last match as what he did. Oh, give it a rest, Dan Reed, that's not the case. No. Andy Simmons is rehabilitating an ankle injury. He isn't cleared medically to wrestle, so he couldn't take part in that match. Rubbish. Andy Simmons wrestled just as much in the last qualifying match that we saw for, between Aviv Mayan and Jody Fleisch as much as one of these did. <laughs> Referee Chris Hatch now trying to get Aviv Mayan into his corner and Andy Boy Simmons out. Martin Stone, East London's hardest man. I tell you what, Simmons needs to be careful because here is someone 
that genuinely, wholeheartedly does not like him. Oh, there's a lot of personal animosity. Andy Simmons took that IP. Oh, did you see the smirk on his face? I oh, it's like it's like it's dinner time for Martin Stone. <laughs> well, Andy Simmons, with help from a lead by Ann and LT Summers, basically mugged Martin Stone for that IPW UK title a couple of months ago in Orpington. And it's something that really uh, marks with Martin Stone because the IPW UK title, uh, the, uh, sorry, the, yeah, the IPW UK title was the first major belt really that Martin Stone held. And he held that with pride. Absolutely. And to lose it, he was a, their champ. Yeah, and to lose it in, in the fashion that he did against a one legged bandit in a wheelchair, I believe. Yeah. And these fans are so shouting, Stone is going to kill you. If Eve Mayan doesn't look particularly bothered, but I think he's putting on a brave face. Prediction from the fans? <laughs> Stone win. Yes. <laughs> look, look at the look yeah. on Martin Stone's face. He likes the sound of it. He is going to want to eat and rip out the corpse of Aviv Mayan. A bloody corpse is how Martin Stone wants to leave Aviv Mayan. You're going to see his heart being ripped out, his lungs, oh, we maybe will. a bit of liver. Yeah, marvelous. This is right up your street. I've always wanted to see that happen. Right up my street, actually, as well. Because, to be honest, if I, if I want to see anybody you know, done over quite like that, it's Aviv Mayan after the way he treated Premier Promotions and uh, defeated Jody Fleisch in the last match. Oh, 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 what was that? Kick, kick to the midsection. To the midsection. There. I thought I went a bit low. Well, but... I think it called the midsection. Not that I question if he's my hand to do anything oh. like that. Well, Stone ran through Iceman pretty quickly. Beautiful snap. Notice how he kick starts it with the leg there. Shades of Dynamite Kid. Indeed. Oh, here we go. Stone just ripping oh. it in. But yeah, he, he, let's see if this is a three count mode. Look how he just throws him around as well. When he wants a pin, he just whip slashes his head to the canvas there and goes for that pin. But Stone went through the Iceman pretty quickly. Oh. He's going to want oh, to Oh, look the at the look on Stone's face. Yes! God bless Chris Ash. Different referee taking yeah. a different stand. Chris Ash says, get out. What? You mean he's taking a referee stance and getting rid of the Andy Boyd Simmons, considering As he's interfering? In yes. It. And, well, seeing as we're in East London, I think the saying is, sling your hook. Yes. Get out of my pub. Uh, and these fans are choosing to serenade Andy Boy Simmons out here. It's an outrage. Andy oh, Simmons no, it's has not a, an outrage. You have a license to be here, don't you? In Fuck off! No! Andy rubbish. Simmons told me. Yeah. Like to see how your boy does now. The official that if Andy Boy Simmons doesn't leave the ringside area by the count of ten, Aviv Mayan will be disqualified. This is a travesty. No. Andy no. Simmons has a license. We have a referee that knows what he's doing. Two. What license does he have? He, uh, Driver's three. license? No, he's got one leg. He's no good. Four. What, other, what other license has he got? Five. Handicap license, maybe. Three. He can park in special one. areas. Seven. Eight. Nine. Oh, and a beat by Anne from behind. Goes for that left knee, and yeah, exactly. we all know what that left knee has been through recently. Oh, absolutely, and people who watched uh, RQW TV recently will have seen Doug Williams uh, trap that leg, uh, left knee underneath the, the barricade over there. And the reason he did that was because the left knee was targeted by Alex Shane in Orpington, an IPW UK show. Yeah, absolutely. And so, you know, that's the, uh, the obvious weakness in Martin Stone. Let's face it, when you've got an opponent like Martin Stone, you want to be able to find the weakness. You think 
you thank God, Allah, Budger, and anyone else for finding a weakness in Martin and, and Stone. And did you notice there how Martin Stone tried to take the knee pad off the knee because the pressure that the knee pad was having, it was squashing the knee, wants to free it up. It's obviously going to be swelling up. Well, definitely a good point. If he's doing that with the knee pad, it means the knee is swelling. Very exactly. good point indeed. And now a half bust in Crab and Stone quick to get to those ropes. He does not want to be in that half bust in Crab. Aviv Mayan making the most of that five count in the second match this evening. The wow. chink in Martin Stone's armor has been exposed, and if he plans on going to a final, this is not good. Well, I was going to say Martin Stone was one of the pre-tournament favorites, but, well, it's not looking good because, you know, how can you win one match, let alone two, with, with one leg? And I, well, I think the uh, tide Well, if anyone is... can do it, it's Martin Stone. I'm sorry, I think the tide has turned. Oh, look at this, great finding the leg and just trying to hyper-extend. Absolutely, that's working on the knee, and it's also a heel hold there. And look at the right hand, it's pushing on the calf, applying more pressure on the knee. He's trying to hyper-extend the knee joint. Aviv Mayan has been watching his UFC and mixed martial arts. Oh, Aviv Mayan's a big fan of mixed martial arts. Absolutely. You're, I mean, you know, you often see him walking around before a show in a Team Punishment t-shirt. Absolutely. Which is uh, Tito Ortiz, I believe, isn't That's it? That's correct. Yes. I watch my UFC. Yeah, me too. Unlike you, I've been to ECW Arena and University and the ladies' bedroom, so shut up. Stone. Oh, headbutt! Oh. And Beirut. There you go. Beat that. Big drop kick. kick, yeah. To the knee again, targeting the knee. Does Aviv Mayan? And it's a great strategy because Aviv Mayan's a lot smaller than Martin Stone. You know, I'd like to see Martin Stone actually in a UFC and that, or a mixed martial arts oh, event. Don't even get him tempted. He would. I know he would, and I know he'd win too. Oh. But Aviv Mayan just kicking, set that leg up on that bottom rope, and just started booting the knee. Oh, apparently he's in great shape. He's he's doing star ju star jumps and his knee's fine. And now he's wrapping it around the ropes. And now once again, referee Chris Hatch giving that five count. Drop kick. I've been to Toronto. Okay. Now where's... Uh, I've what, been to Gloucester and Colchester, but, Marvelous. you know, let's get to the match. Oh, he's going to wrap right that knee around the we're post, York Hall, And Martin Stone is pushing, oh. he was not in the corner. That knee was just rammed into a solid steel ring post. A reinforced solid steel. And also, I'd just like to point out, these are, these are square and posts. And again! Oh! These are square posts, not the traditional round ones. They therefore have sharper corners. Yes, they have angled edges. corners that will really actually really damage that knee more than more than a, a round one would do. Absolutely. If that makes sense. Less than more damage than that. Oh! oh! Stone! Using everything he had to bring his knee back into the ring. Sends of Eve Mayan into that post. And there's a vicious knife edge chop there. One to the back, too. The thing about this is as much as Stone hates him, he's also going to want to humiliate the little man. That's not my wording, that's what Stone called him earlier. You make him sound like a Christmas elf. Oh! Forearm uppercut that vibrated across the York Hall. Oh, and head first into the corner of the ring there. But look at Stone, he still can't walk, he can't put weight on that left leg. What can you imagine is going through Aviv Maya? Oh! Oh, that did not sound good at all. No. Aviv Mayan. Can we get the camera down to Stone? There we go. Good stuff. Stone looks in, in trouble. Stone looks having a hard time getting to his feet yeah. now. And I mean, the noise oh. those steps made, and they're heavy, believe me. Oh, yeah. Those are steel steps. I know, I always have to carry them earlier, and I um, couldn't. Yeah, no, me neither. And there's a boot against the knee. It's not allowing Stone to get in the ring. 
Chris Hatch showing a lot of leniency here, I guess, because the double count out would mean we have no final. So rules are rules, though. At the same time, you know, I'm sure Martin Stone was wishing that he was counting because that would cause force of each player to have to get back into the ring quicker. Well, it's a judgment call from referee Chris Hatch. Aviv to the top rope. Stone getting. Oh, he's up. He's up, and it took everything he had to get up. But there's Aviv waiting. Oh. Beautiful frog cross body there. Stono kicks out, and he did. He kicked out. That actually hurt Aviv Mayan's midsection, the impact of that, that uh, co collision. Stone's up. Stone won't quit. Catches him. Oh! oh! How to break a neck by Martin Stone. Available in all good bookshops now. Two. Just in time for Christmas, eh? But, you know, Stone unable to hold a bridge on that, obviously. He just had to throw him and let go. But is and gonna, Stone is up. Is Stone going to be able to hit a lariat be able to, without being able to run, you know? Well, we're best when to find out. He's kicking some energy into that knee. Oh, he holds on to it. One lariat over the shoulder. Samoan crash We're coming up. Oh, over. oh nicely oh. countered. D couldn't hold him. His knee buckled and there was a reverse DDT. Well, Mayan was countering it as well. We saw that series of moves against Doug Williams last month from Aviv Mayan. Obviously, he's been watching that match as well. And a chance of Martin echoing through this famous old hall. Oh, Stone. Habib was doing the wrong thing there, trying to but there's make the, the big bang mad. He hits the Samoan crash. Now rolls through onto the near leg. Gets a two count. Well, Martin Stone, it took everything he had to hit that. I guess Stone can still hit the London Bridge with that. Uh, well, the Dodgy benefit wheel. of the London Bridge, of course, is that the top road takes majority oh, of the and, weight. And speak of the devil, he just shot. Oh, just did you see that kick there? Yeah. It's the bottom of the foot straight to the shin and knee. Why on earth did he shout out London Bridge, apart from to try and get some support Will from Barrow these fans? Will Barrow attempt here. Bulldog. So you shout the name London Bridge out, you telegraph that you're going for the move, and it you're right. exactly your opponent hears that. Rings right. alarm bells in your opponent, and that's exactly what happened with Aviv Mayan. He he cut the legs away from from Martin Stone, and now we're back in this situation. Absolutely. We were saying earlier about how uh, you know the benefit of London Bridge is that the top rope takes majority of the weight. However, Martin Stone needs to get Aviv onto that top rope first. Another victory roll attempt gets caught. Side Rockford leg sweep. Rolls through into the cross face. Oh, with a Cobra Crush oh, at the yes. same time. Innovator submission, and that's it. Cross face maneuver. Cobra cross face there. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match as a result of a submission and qualifying for the finals of the Real Quality Wrestling Heavyweight Championship Tournament. Wow, Martin Stone against the odds is in the final, but what kind of condition is he going to be in? Will he even make it to the match? That's what I want to think. Well, the benefit for Martin Stone is he was involved in the first semi-final match. Up next, Dean Drew Galloway versus Pack versus Pack indeed. Following on from that, we will have a tag team match. Well, he's got a couple of matches to recuperate at least, but it's not long. Well, you, you can't see it on, on camera at the moment, but Stone is basically shaking that knee for all it's worth, trying to get some life back in. Absolutely, it. trying to get some fear back in it. Versatility there from Martin Stone. Turning that side leg sweep into that Cobra clutch cross face. And the fans, look at them on their feet. Suddenly behind Martin Stone. Fantastic win from East London's hardest, Martin Stone.
So Martin Stone advances to the final. But that's all the time we have for this week. But don't forget to join us next time when you'll see Drew Galloway against Pack in the second semi-final and, of course, the crowning of the new RQW champion itself. We'll see you at ringside. Goodbye.